is Flavia, uh, Flavia Villani. And so Flavia is a, a zero year PhD student. She kind of gonna start her PhD soon, like next January. And she uh, graduated in uh, medical biotechnology uh, at University of uh, Naples. And, um, and she, she did her master thesis in, uh, in my lab uh, with the population genomics. And during her thesis, she was uh, implementing a simple method to detect uh, variation from bubbles uh, in the genome graphs. Uh, but now she's, uh, she's leading a different project and she's going to talk about it today, which is the construction of uh, mice um, pan genome from inbred, uh, recombinant inbred mice. And also she's helping debugging PGGB by testing tons of parameter sites. Uh, for punching of construction. And um, I'll let you, I'll let you fly speak. Yes, uh, thank you, Enza. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I am Flavia. And, uh, and uh, in this talk, I am going to present you uh, a pangenome for the expanded with the family of mice. I would like to start with a little introduction of Vix the mouse family. Uh, so, uh, the BXD family uh, was started by crossing uh, fully inbred uh, female to male BXD uh, for this thing. Following uh, a cross between these two, the F1 generation consists of genetically individual uh, identically that inherited one chromosome from each parental strain. Uh, intercrosses were then carried out between F1 individuals generating BXD recombinant inbreed in the F2. And patterns of recombination were frozen with uh, 20 uh, generation of seed meetings, which resulted in the uh, recombination inbreed uh, strains. Uh, but uh, they have been generated uh, big, new BXD uh, strains uh, from two independent uh, uh, advanced intercrosses uh, um, between uh, progenitory strains. And progeny were intercrossed from 8 to uh, 50 generations before in, in selecting the, the inbreeding. For this thing, uh, uh, advanced intercrosses uh, is a population highly uh, recombinant. Uh, so, uh, David Ashbrook and Rob Williams, in particular, uh, sequenced the 152 uh, strains of BXD uh, mouse with 10x linked reads technology, and uh, some of which uh, were produced uh, as a traditional F2 recombinant inbreed uh, strains, and some of which uh, uh, obtained by advanced intercrosses population. So what are the advantage of uh, inbreed uh, family? The first set of BXD recombinant inbreed strain was used to map Mendelian traits, but now BXDs are used to map a complex trait, for example, cancer, uh, immune system, um, uh, brain structure, and, uh, and so on. And beats the uh, phenome includes thousands of quantitative uh, uh, traits present uh, into gene network. Gene network is a group of linked data and tools used to study complex network of genes, uh, correlation between genotype and phenotype, and so on. So uh, hereditably trait in uh, beats the mouse can be mapped with the high power and precision. So uh, we, we have 152 big CD strains of uh, mouse obtained by 10x linked read technology and two big CD parental strain obtained by nanopore uh, uh, sequencing with the very low coverage. But to build the pangenome, we used 148 big CD strain assembled with a supernova tool. As you can see, this is the distribution of the length of this, uh, this context. And as you can see, the context lag peak uh, at 31 kilobases. So this is a very hard challenge build the pangenome with uh, uh, this, uh, um, length, with this um, uh, very length uh, short peak. So um, I generated this, uh, this pangenome with the 148 big family members. 
And uh, to build a pan genome, I used uh, the, pin, the pan genome graph uh, builder, PGGB. It is a pipeline developed by, uh, mainly by Eric, Andre, and Simon. And PGGB consists of three uh, different steps. Uh, for the first step, we uh, use the WF mesh. We aligned all sequences against each other. For the second step, we use the sequish. Uh, as you can see here, we have two similar regions and one re different region. So uh, there's the regions collapsed in one uh, region and sequish uh, um, 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 considered all possible alignment between sequences and uh, induced variation graph. The third step is a smooth uh, XG. With this tool, uh, we, normal, we sorted the graph and uh, apply a PoA, we obtain a smoothed uh, normalized graph. So this is the pan genome of chromosome 19 uh, from uh, uh, my strains. I show you uh, this, but all other chromosomes are pretty close because all mouse chromosomes are uh, acrocentric. And this is the visualization with the OGBits tool. Um, in this visualization, each line corresponds to each member of uh, this family. The color blocks lines represent non varying regions in the genome, and the vertical lines correspond to variable sites. As you can see here, this is a very difficult region because it corresponds to the Central America region. And in this region, as you can see, we have very, very um, a lot of uh, contexts that don't map because they have a very short length. So uh, I build uh, this pan genome with this version of PGGB into 4.5 days. And this is the number of nodes, edge, and uh, paths. As, as you can see, this is the total length uh, of uh, pan genome, and this is uh, obtained by the sum of uh, nodes uh, present in the pan genome. And this is a uh, very high respect to the real length of chromosome 19, because in the, in the pan genome, we have a very uh, complex regions. And uh, um, also because in the pan genome uh, here, as you can see, we have lots of hands. In fact, uh, an art part of pan genome um, correspond to end sites. So uh, this is uh, an, an example of gene that I extracted from the, the pan genome uh, with the OG. And this is the visualization with the bandage. Uh, bandage is an alternative tool to visualize the uh, graphs. And um, it um, assigned randomly the colors nodes, as you can see here, and the variable sites appear as, uh, as bubbles. Uh, this simple gene uh, match with the uh, conformation present in the uh, ensemble. In fact, uh, I isolated this portion of this gene and the, the sequences, and it match with the uh, B1 uh, I assign elements present in this uh, database as match with the mouse uh, organism. And uh, the, this uh, is an extraction a zoom of this portion of this gene and this uh, of uh, this uh, other portion. And as you can see in base pair, um, uh, you can see length of nodes and um, uh, node depth that correspond to allele frequencies of polymorphic sites. So um, on this pan genome, I call it the variance with the VG uh, deconstruct. This is the total number of variable sites, and this is the variant density. We have one variance every 72 uh, base pair, and this is the number of uh, uh, singletons. As you can see, the majority of uh, uh, variants are SMPs. And this is a zoom of these uh, uh, SMPs and the base, uh, the base uh, changes. As you can see, this is a, a, a ratio. This is a very low for SMPs because here we are considering uh, uh, all samples and uh, all variability present in the uh, pan genome. And uh, this is the site frequency spectrum for all sites and for SMPs only. Uh, the, little, the, the site frequency or allele frequency spectrum uh, is the distribution of allele frequencies uh, uh, of a given set of loci in a population. Uh, the particular 
the thing is that we uh, started with an inbreed family and uh, compared with the human, uh, here you can see another peak at 50% uh, um, of uh, uh, frequencies. Uh, and uh, it matched that uh, our, uh, uh, with the two poor strains inbreed and with the breeding uh, system. Uh, so this, uh, this spectrum matched with our input data. Uh, so, to the validation of variant calling, I chose one uh, sample, DBA2J, and in particular, uh, I used the two true sets, one obtained by uh, 10X and one obtained by PacBio. As a variant caller, I used uh, always JTK, and uh, um, as a query set, I used uh, VG deconstruct that calls uh, to reference by Pangenum. And in this, um, in this case, I considered only variants with sites minor of 50 a base pair. And another thing that I have done is uh, the stratification of the genome. Uh, I chosen a difficult region, um, a region that contains short and long uh, nuclear elements, uh, microsatellites, and so on. And uh, my easy region corresponds to the masked difficult regions. So this is the, um, uh, these are the variants called by uh, VG, JTK, PacBio, and JTK 10X, my two true sets. And as you can see, VG uh, called uh, MNPs and other uh, complex uh, uh, variants. In particular, as you can see here, the pangenome enables calling uh, of complex variants not seen by uh, traditional genomic uh, methods. And uh, this, uh, this ratio is uh, fairly close between the DESI3 uh, data set and the lower for pangenome. And uh, it reflects the presence of complex variants. So this is the comparison between uh, VG and uh, the two true set, JTK 10X and JTK PacBio for masked and unmasked region. And in the masked region, I chose SMPs and uh, uh, inverse. Uh, as you can see, uh, for the masked region, pre uh, precision uh, is nearly to 90%, uh, and for SMPs uh, is uh, near to 93%, uh, 94%. And another thing is this uh, nice table uh, in which you can see precision sensitivity and F measure for three uh, different comparisons. In the first column, I, compare, I compared the, the, the two true set, JTK 10X against JTK PacBio. In the second column, the first true set against VG. And in the third column, the uh, second true set against VG. The message is that there's three uh, different uh, comparison uh, matches for precision and, uh, and so on. So, um, but the aim of the pangenome is identify new uh, type of, of variants or of variants not well characterized before pangenomes. For this thing, I considered the only variants with sites measure of 50 base pair that I considered as, as a structural variant. This is the distribution in length, and this is the total number of uh, uh, structural variants that identify. Uh, this is the maximum length for deletion and uh, for uh, insertion. The next nice thing is that uh, I defined uh, um, uh, structural uh, variants. In particular, this is an insertion in the ZFP91 gene. Uh, and this is uh, uh, extracted from, uh, uh, from pangenomic VCF file obtained by VG. These uh, uh, correspond to uh, this uh, uh, insertion. This is uh, the visualization obtained by uh, bandage. And uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the length of this uh, insertion. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, this insertion is only found in DBA2J and in other 48% of BXD mice, uh, as you can see green uh, nodes in the, in the graph. And this insertion is uh, um, in a complete linkage with the two other insertion of four base pair and 135 base pair in a region spanning uh, 4.1 kilo base pair. 
So uh, the pangenomic extract in, the, in, gen, uh, in gene context is represented by the brown uh, segment above the second intron of, uh, of the gene. And uh, we try to uh, correlate this uh, uh, genotype to uh, a specific phenotype for BXD family. And for this thing, we used the uh, uh, gene network. So uh, we have a strong causal evidence that uh, uh, segregating variants in ZFP91 gene in the BXD family cause alteration of T cell proliferation. And for this thing, uh, we expected uh, this to um, um, result in clinical re relevant phenotype, for example, for cancer or immune system. So uh, to, to wrap up this part, uh, linker reads are not uh, ideal for pangenome building. Uh, and uh, uh, considered that uh, in this pangenome, as you can see, uh, we have uh, a very high number of N sites and uh, uh, chromosomes of mouse are acrocentric. But nevertheless, the pangenome enhances the calling of complex variants not seen by traditional genomic methods and uh, uh, provide variant calling with the good precision and sensitivity compared to the standard methods and permit us to follow up this nice uh, insertion that was inherited by alpha of recombination mice and correlated the genotype at this locus with the relevant phenotypes present uh, in the gene network uh, database. Uh, so, uh, as I told you, uh, we have uh, also two BXD uh, parental strains obtained by uh, nanopore technology. Uh, with, um, they have very uh, low uh, coverage, but as you can see, the read length peak is a uh, uh, high respect to this uh, contig length peak. Uh, this is uh, the number of bases, uh, reads and N50. Uh, so uh, I, uh, to the, the base color, uh, I, on this data, we used um, GAPI. Uh, but as uh, you know, uh, the problem of nanopore data is that uh, they, uh, they have a very high uh, error rate. And for this thing, uh, we try to uh, solve this, uh, this problem. Uh, so we started with the supernova assembly obtained by 10x uh, data, uh, the technology. Uh, from for two parental strains. Uh, these are in FASTA uh, file uh, format. With this tool, we converted these two uh, supernova assembly into two uh, graphs. For example, for DBA2J, this is the number of nodes, edge, and assembly sites. And then with graph aligner, we aligned these uh, uh, row uh, reads nanopore against uh, the uh, graph. As you can see, uh, this is the uh, output, the number of reads, um, and this is the same number of input, but in this case is uh, uh, corrected. And to check the correction of these reads, uh, we use the Winnow map. In particular, we uh, mapped row uh, the data set against a reference uh, uh, genome and corrected the data against the reference genome. So as you can see, uh, the reads mapped, uh, the percent of reads mapped incre um, uh, increase respect to the raw data. The same for base and the same for bases mapped. And uh, also error rate that is calculated as a number of mismatches divided by bases mapped decrease. As you can see here for these uh, uh, parental strains, but it is the same thing for this, this other. So uh, now I am trying to use uh, gaps up to decrease uh, again uh, this, uh, this error rate. But uh, in conclusion for the, our next step are cons uh, the, the construction of a better pangenome, but uh, how? Uh, for example, uh, with the integration of available uh, nanopore data and the pack bio data with the 10X linked reads, uh, to try to solve the difficult region and uh, increase mappability, for example, in uh, Centromeric uh, region. And we are going to uh, sequence the new uh, nanopore uh, data 
And uh, the other thing is uh, develop population genomics analysis. Um, we are starting uh, uh, on, uh, on VCF uh, files, but our idea is develop this analysis directly on the pan genome. So we, start, we will start uh, on the pan genome, then with the GBWT indexing this pan genome, and then define the uh, number of sequences, segregation sites, and infrequencies, and so on. And use it, uh, and uh, will use this to develop this, uh, for example, population gen genomics analysis. So uh, many thanks to Enza, my supervisor, all uh, um, group of uh, Big D uh, family, uh, and um, Eric uh, Garrison, Andrea, and Simon uh, to help me to um, build the, the, the pan genome with the PGGB. So thanks you for your attention. Um, thanks, Flavia. Nice talk. Um, so we have two questions in the chat. They're both uh, on the same topic. And, uh, so Eric is the first question comes from Eric. He says, the graph built from 10x assemblies are very noisy. I think it's more a comment uh, than a question. And I have lots of nodes with low coverage, including uh, the nodes made from ends uh, that you mentioned. Do you see a benefit for graph-based filtering methods that could remove such low confidence regions of the graph? And uh, is this a potential alternative to VCF-based filtering of the results? Uh, yes, I can try to uh, filter the um, uh, pan genome, uh, for example, for chromosome uh, 30. <coughs> and uh, I removed the depth that uh, is minor of 10. Uh, and uh, in this, in this uh, case, I removed uh, also centromeric region. And it seems that uh, I have benefit with the, the variant calling because um, there is an increase of, uh, um, of recall precision and, uh, and affirmation. Yes. And even though you lose a part of the information, like by just yeah. converting. So, and second question is from Alex. He says, is there a lot of useful information contained in the end based in the graph? Otherwise, it sounds like it may just increase uh, file size and processing of the graph, um, if the graph can be nearly half ends for challenging reasons. So, uh, so yeah, the, um, the end site uh, is, uh, is used to, um, the, the, in the assembly in particular, and, uh, it, um, uh, and uh, if we try, we remove the, uh, this, uh, this end site. But for example, uh, uh, the, um, we have a break in the, in the variance because the uh, end sites maintains the structure of, uh, of the variants. So um, uh, um, contains uh, an information. We don't, re we don't, we can't remove these end sites for the integrity of the pan genome. Okay, um, I see uh, no more questions in the chat. 